The call came after a meter reader for the water utility stumbled upon human remains in a patch of woods just a quarter mile from the Anthony home. The remains were found in a wetland area that was inaccessible to search teams last summer. It had been waist deep in water due to record rainfall. The date right now is January 6, 2009. The time right now is 1530 hours. I'm Detective Mellish with the Orange County Sheriff's Office. Reference Orange County case number 08-74777. Uh, we're at the Orange County Central Operations Building, uh, one of the interview rooms. Also present is Corporal Eric Edwards, Orange County. Also present is Attorney David Evans. Uh, and Mr. Evans, your office is uh, two landmark centers, Suite 600 or 225 East Robinson Street, Orlando, Florida, is that correct? That's correct. Okay. And also present is uh, Roy Cronk. Roy, would you state your name and birthday for the record? Uh, Roy Cronk, January 22nd, 1962. And uh, Roy, David, you aware this is being recorded? Yes, we are. Any objection by either one? No. no. Okay. Roy, we had, uh, we had actually come down twofold. One, we had other detectives that are conducting a different investigation that wanted to speak with you. And second, because we wanted to take an opportunity before they got to talk to you to clarify some things that came up. When I say clarify, the last time I spoke to you was uh, late, late in December when Eric and I went over to your house along with an FBI agent. Yes, sir. Since then, I've had the opportunity to review several 911 calls that you made. I was able to actually read the crime line tip. I was able to interview deputies that responded on scene on the third call you made. Yes, sir. And I was able to also talk to coworkers and so on, and questions came up. And what I simply wanted to do was get clarifications to the questions that came up. Yes, sir. So we'll go back to August 11th. When you first went to Suburban Drive on August 11th, is this, how, had you been on that street before? No. Okay, so that was the first time you even on that street, Suburban Drive. the first time Drive. I was ever assigned that route. I didn't even cover that route in training. Was it the so first time you were on, you were on that street period, at all? Yeah, period, yeah. Okay, so first time you ever on Suburban Drive. You were talking with David, and you were talking with Chris. Right. And during this conversation... You started talking about, I guess, theories or, or, or about the Kaylee Anthony case. You remember talking about yeah, that? Yeah, my theory. Okay. Which was? My theory, well, real simple, is that she kept saying that she was close. When we stopped there, which was the first time I had ever been there, I looked. There is swamp on one side of the road. There is swamp on another side of the road. Okay? You always get the K coming out of swamps. There was a school at the end. It was August. There was no school going on. And it just made sense to me that if you were going to get rid of something like that, well, you would put it in a place where you knew there would be very little traffic whatsoever because the only people going back and forth was, you know, people going down to do maintenance on the school and all that other stuff, people like myself who were there for a, a specific reason. Mm -hmm. uh, we also, I, we found that dead, you know, rattlesnake laying there and all that. And it just made sense to me that you would not want something that far away from you if you had actually done something like that. It just kind of made sense to me that that's where she would have dumped it. Well, while you were having your conversation with David and Chris, you had cause to walk away and start looking in the woodland. What were you, were you looking to, to see if you saw anything at the yeah, time? Yeah, I was just curious. My curiosity was piqued. I just wanted to look around. And that see. was after talking about it. Oh, yeah, exactly. a theory. You yeah. just happened to be there, so why not look? Yeah. Okay. yeah. So I just started looking into the woods. And when you walked down a ways and you saw something, describe me again. You said you saw something white. Correct? I saw something white that was protruding up out of the water. It appeared to me, it just looked like the top of a human skull. That's just what it looked like to me. In your heart of hearts, and it, well, we, we said this before. Right. What did you think that was? I thought it was a human skull. No question. No. Okay. When you pointed it out to David and Chris, they right. said, hey, look at that. Yeah. Uh, what did they say? I think Chris said I couldn't see it, and David told me I was crazy. He said he didn't see it. He didn't think it was what I thought it was. Okay. Was this before or after, I guess, they screamed about the snake or discovered the snake? Uh, it was right after Dave screamed about the snake. Okay. So as they're walking, they... You hear a scream, it's Dave and Chris, they spot this, this big snake, a right. rattlesnake, they didn't right. know it was dead or alive. Right. Uh, you guys went back there, saw the snake, did whatever you wanted with the snake, but right. then how, uh, then you pointed at that white object and said, what? Yeah, I was just scanning, looking at the water, and I said, look at that. And they went, came over and I was pointing and they were looking, and I said, you know, and they're saying, yeah, and. I did, said, you say, did you say, look, that's a skull? Or look yeah, I said, look, it looks like a skull, and they're like, you know, I think Dave told me I was crazy or something. Okay. When. You went home. Did you? You didn't. Obviously, didn't call until later. That no, time. I went. Uh, we went back. Turned our work in for the day. I got in my car. I went home. If someone were to ask why you didn't call that afternoon, while you were standing there, if you thought it was a skull, what would your answer to that be? Well, it. it like I said, it. It looked like a skull to me. I was about ninety-nine point nine 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 percent sure it was a skull. 
And but you know, Dave tells me I'm crazy, and obviously it was a hot day. I just wanted to go home. I wanted to take a shower. I wanted to like you know drink a soda, relax, get in the pool, and just you know I had to start dinner for my girlfriend. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I'm not going to say that I didn't care, but I wasn't going to go in there. There was water and snakes and all that other stuff, and you know, so I just kind of put it on the back burner and mentioned something to my girlfriend that night about it. And then the next night, she made me call. I called. Um, the, next, the next night, I called again. And this is all like nine, ten o'clock at night. It wasn't early in the day or anything like that. And then I called the tip line. And then the tip line said, well, we'll have somebody meet you out there. So I went out there again after work. I drove my own car over there. I was sitting over there in the air conditioning. The guy shows up. I show him what, you know, it's over there. When you showed him what's over there, did you could you actually see what you were pointing at? It was not at? as prominent as it was two days before or three days before. Okay, but you were, you were, did but you I point at like, it? It was like right there. Did you describe what you yeah. were pointing at? Yeah. What did you say it was? I said, it's right there, that thing, it's just a little white thing sticking up. And he said, okay. And once again, told him about the snake. I'm not sure if I showed him the picture of the snake I had on my phone or not. But he pulled his ass out, he walked down the bank, he sweeped back and forth, he went, I don't see nothing, he went to come up, he started to trip, I stuck my hand out, he refused it, he fell, and then he basically told me I was an idiot. So. Did you lose sight of him at all? Or? No. No, never. so he didn't go that far no. in there where you lost sight of him? No, he was visibly, in my mind, he was visibly afraid when he went down in there. Did you, about snakes. how close did he get to this object that you pointed out? Uh, if I was, for the sake of argument, eight feet away from it, he might have been Six feet away from him. He only went in about two feet. So he didn't, he didn't, didn't get to where he touched it, manipulated oh, no, it, or not he didn't, at all. He didn't no. reach over, reach down, or do no, anything to confirm what that was. No. Did he do anything with his ass that stands out in your mind? Did he do it? No, he just got to like the water's edge of the swamp, sweeped, turned around, and came back. That was it. That was and the it. object, just to clarify, you mentioned it before, it was about four to. Four to six feet in the water up next to the tree. Okay, so it was in the, in the water. It was in the water, yeah. In a, in yeah, a dry no, spot. it was in the water. And when the deputy turned to you and said, this area's been searched, I don't think it's anything, what was your feeling at that point? Well, I said, I told him, I said, I thought I saw a human skull. Mm -hmm. And then he started arguing with me of whether or not, you know, the remains would be skeletonized by then. And he basically just sat there and told me that I was wasting the county's time. And, you know, I mean, I don't think he read out and called me an idiot, but he just started belittling me and all that others, and I left. Do you remember the uh, female deputy that showed up? Yeah. Just before, did you make any question, any comments to her about, hey, I think you know the, the kid might be here? The yeah, kid. because I told her, I told him, I said, look, you got swamp here, you got swamp here, you got no traffic at all on this road, you got the smell of decay coming out of the swamp it would cover if you were letting a body decompose, it would cover it. Did and you smell would, decay at any time? Those I days? haven't smelled anything since 1978. I've got the most worst sinuses known to mankind. So, did anyone make any comments to you about smelling decay or no, smelling something? No, but not other than any other decay coming out of a swamp. But that that those particular days, all of a sudden, no, swamp, not at all, no. And but you know, she said no, and she looked on the other side of the fence where the swamp is on the other side of the fence, and she mm-hmm. kind of said, "Yeah, you got a point. It might be a good place to do something like that." Oh, so she walked across the street. Yeah, she walked across the street and looked over there and looked around, and she said, "Yeah, I can see where that would be plausible." And you know, and he just basically told me, you know, never came out and said I was an idiot, but, you know, and then I went home. 